Alrighty, what is up you guys? Today is day 3 of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Nuzlocke. Super excited we've made it this far. Uh, cause as you guys know, in a Nuzlocke, if your Pokemon faints, it's now dead, and if you white out, or black out, if all your Pokemon on your team dies in a battle, you're done. You've lost the Nuzlocke. So, we've made it to day 3. Uh, let's continue. I don't know what to expect from the game. I don't even know what the next gym is. But for a team recap, we got Yadrib leading off the team. He evolved last episode. He's looking good. He's flying. It's our Star Ravia. Uh, Relax Nature. We got Tackle, Double Team, Quick Attack, and Wing Attack on this guy. Next up is our Frosty Boy. He also evolved last episode. We got Stealth Rock on him for the cheese. Metal Claw, Water Gun, and Charm, because he's a charming little penguin. Next up is going to be our Burnett, which was the MVP of Episode 1. It didn't get to see much playtime in the last episode, but hopefully we can throw this thing back in. We got Absorb, Pound, Struggle Bug, and Fury Cutter. I forgot this thing had Absorb. That could be really good for this guy. Next, we got Thorn, just because we haven't caught anything to kind of sub this guy out with. Uh, I don't play during the daytime, and this guy has to have... Uh, all of his happiness all the way up and be daytime for him to evolve and so that's never gonna happen but we got absorb growth stun spore for the catches and worry seed next up on the list is our simba jolly nature uh which is a terrible nature why do i keep getting these bad nature pokemon like you'll see what should be their strongest thing like an electric pokemon you want to have good special attack our special attack is lowered by our nature, but we got tacker, Tackle, Leer, Thundershock, and Bite. Uh, you know, I'm used to playing the old generations where they didn't have the special physical split, so maybe I'm wrong about my last statement. He might be good. Oops. He might be good because I see that his attack is high, and there will be some electric physical attack so he might carry it and then we got all might the badoof really he's just here to be an hm slave he got rock smash uh tackle defense curl and roll out with that guys we're gonna keep going uh, i don't know what this town is called i've already forgot uh but we got a little message devin went to eterna city so you better make your way there too yeah, no kidding. Okay, well, right here. So we need to travel up and to the right, but it looks like there might be a little path to the right here. Uh, that might be a potential catch. So let's go check out that first. Check out that first. Uh, how are we doing on Pokeballs, though? Pokeballs, we got 21. We're still solid. We're solid. All right, Route 205. Uh, just to confirm, this is our first time in Route 205, right? Like, if I go down a little bit, that's not 205. Okay, yeah. So first time in this route, we can definitely catch a Pokemon here. If we can find one. Okay. Looks like we're starting it out with a battle. Little girl. Help, help, trainer. Please, can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Windworks. But the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. Okay, not a battle. Uh, well... Not a battle yet. We will have a battle. Ooh, and a new route. So 205 is going to be up there. And that's going to be our grass patch. But we're going to go over here and catch whatever lies in this grass here. And it's going to be a Shellos. All right. So I've never actually used this Pokemon. But from the Nuzlocke I've watched before, uh, everyone seems to love this thing. Like, there was this animated series about, uh, I don't know how I want to do this. He's eight levels below me. I don't know what type it is. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go with Thorny Boy for the Stun Sports Cheese, and we're going to call that good. We're not going to even try it back the same. But there's this, like, completely animated Nuzlocke of Diamond, I think. Might have been Pearl, I don't know. But it was really cool. And they said that Shellos is like their favorite Pokemon, so must be good unless it's just there for like the memes or something. Alright, 
paralyzed. Let's hope we can get some good luck with these Pokeballs. Come on, Shellos. You want to join the team because you want you want me to experience why everyone else loves you. All right, first try. Shellos is caught, uh, and now the nickname is gonna be. You know what? This is gonna be a shout out to my nephew who decided to name his rival and his starter, th like literally the number one. So we're gonna name you. You're the one, buddy. You are the one. And we're gonna add you to our party. And... We still need him for the cheese. Who do I get rid of? You know what, All Might? Take a seat. The one is joining the party. Let's take a look at the one. Alrighty, water type. Lonely nature. Uh, sticky hold. Items held by the Pokemon are stuck fast and cannot be removed by other Pokemon. It makes sense. He looks like a little sticky guy. Uh, ups attack and lowers defense. Water gun, mud slap, and pardon. So we got two special attacks on here. Uh, and our nature ups our attack. So. Don't know how I feel about that, but we're going to have him on the team because apparently... He's loved, and he's fantastic. Uh, before we go fight those people, we're going to go ahead and heal up. I think probably that's the best route to take. Oh, hey, is that that baby girl in the corner there? Might want to go talk to her. I'm not sure. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon full health. We hope to see you again. Don't wish that on me. Uh, no. She's not important. Alright, moving on. I swear, those people with the green hair look like they should be important. Uh, and I never talk to them. I really should. Just in case. Alright, that looks like it might be a double battle. Let's try and go this way. See if this is a... Ooh, item. A potion. Nice. Let's see if this is another way in. Don't you dare go into Valley Windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna try and get in. Okay then, you'll have to battle me for it. Alright, yeah, we can settle it that way. I'm not worried. You were challenged by Team Galactic Grunt. A Glamiow. Oh, it's a little kitty. Well, kitty, meet my bird. You know, that's not good, because I'm pretty sure cats like to eat birds. But, this ain't no ordinary birdie. Wow. Almost a one hit. You know, we're really not, like, doing anything extra. We haven't power leveled much or anything. Uh, but we're level 15 to his 11, so we're a little bit, we're pretty strong for this area right? Uh, I don't know if that's going to be the case for the next gym. I don't even know what the next gym is. Apparently, the fighting gym is difficult. Ah, the only person who have told me that is uh, one of my friends uh, who's currently playing this. Yeah, like I'm really supposed to win with a Pokemon like this. Okay, so you didn't train your Pokemon. You were just given it. Got it. Isn't that great? Getting owned by some kid. But you can't do it anything if you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with my work ski. That's right, the other work ski's not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. Ha ha ha, in that sense, I'm no longer the loser. No, you're just a poor sport. Poor chump. Did he crash or he dropped the key? What's, what was that for plump? All right, so we're gonna have to go do that devil battle. Uh, let's make sure we got two strong ones up front. You know what? We need to let Burn It come back in. A bird and a bug. Let's go do this. We, Team Galactic, are conducting research in Eternal Forest. This is as far as you will go. Our research involves catching Pokemon in the flowery meadows of Flora Roma Town. 
We are also using the energy of Valley Windworks for something, but that is no concern to you. Oh, they're just gonna push me back. Uh, okay. So, we can't go that way yet. Um, so they're, they're in this town, it says. They, in one of these grass, there are flower patches that were just kind of honey. Oh yeah, the honey feature is big in this. We're not going to talk to them. We don't want no legendaries yet. We'll come back for those. Uh, all right, I guess we're going to go into this flower shop because I don't know where else to go. I am like almost playing this game completely blind, so I don't know really what I'm doing. Spray duck? What's a spray duck? Can you explain? Use that spray duck to water the soil while you where you planted berries. You should also water berry plants while they're still growing. Okay, so nothing for my mission. Single berry will grow in a plant that makes several berries. By planting one, there will be more and more berries in the world. I hope we, you will help us spread more berries everywhere. You'll plant a raspberry. Okay. Um. Are you going to do anything, or are you just going to sell me stuff? Stickers. Ooh. I don't have any berries to trade with you, really. But you got some cool stickers. Nope. Nope. Unfortunately, I need more berries. Uh, so this place was a bust. Let's go into this little unassuming house. And what do you want? Floral Town was a barren, desolate hill long ago. People started planting flowers on it because it was such a sad place, but nothing would grow. People didn't know what to do. And then one day, someone expressed thanks for the blessings of nature. Then the whole hill burst into bloom. Isn't that strange and wonderful? That's kind of a cute story. Do you think it's cute how P Pokemon pluck berries? Sure. Yes, you agreed. Here are some TMs for the move pluck. Nice! Alright. Uh... Let's go check out that move, because it might be a pretty decent flying type move. If it's better than Peck, we're going to teach it to Frost. Um, rock Smash, Stealth Rock, Rock Tomb, Bullet Seed. So it's 60 power and 100 accuracy. Team can be used once, the team will break, is that okay? Yes, please choose a move to... No, I didn't mean to choose it to this guy. It's basically the same, but less PP than winged attack. Yeah, I don't want to teach it to him. I want to teach it to Frosty Boy. Use this item. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think Peck is only 40 power, so this one should be better than it. Oh, I don't even have Peck on here anymore. Ooh. Well, that, my friends, was a miscalculation, so we're not going to be learning Pluck right now. Uh, yeah, we're just going to move on. Uh, are you important? Do you know that about... I know about flowers, and I just don't know how to say that word, so we're not even try and say it. Okay. Hmm. This is like the only other house I haven't gone in yet. Some kinds of Pokemon appear only if they're attracted by sweet scent of honey. Pokemon must have an acute sense of smell. They can sense the aroma of honey from very far away. <sighs> Alright, let's go. First 15 minutes of this video is just me fumbling. Okay. That's a pack, just to let you guys know. And this is definitely where I needed to be. Uh, we should still have oh, man. Goodness gracious. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Let's take on these guys. Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What'll we do? We can't have that brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We must ensure the brat stays quiet. 
Well, friends, you just entitled yourself to a good old-fashioned Pokemon butt whoop and call me a brat. You're gonna call me a brat and have a Wurmple? Your dribs got this in the bag. A Wurmple? Your organization must suck if they're giving you a little, a little buggy like that. It's level 9, why didn't you evolve that thing? It's just bad training on your part. Not even getting a lot of XP because you got such weak Pokemon. Okay, you do have an evolve form. You're both level 9, why wouldn't you evolve- why would you evolve one and not the other? Doesn't matter, they're just one hit knockouts from our Yudrib. And the one leveled up. Let's go. This is why I'm going to be stuck as a grunt forever. Yeah. Yeah, with those Pokemon, you will, dude. You can't run any organization with those Pokemon. This is so lame. They're going to dock my pay. I'm up next. <laughs> Wait, if you get paid for this, you should really be catching better Pokemon. That... You don't deserve higher pay with that. Battling you right after my cohort has weakened you gives me the edge. No, sir, it, it really doesn't. I mean, your guy did a lot of damage, but uh, I think we, we're still solid. And you got a Zubat. Well, buddy, if I know anything about Zubats, they get crushed. It's a nice ability that that Zubat has. But, are you Dribs gonna eat that thing up? Let's go! One hit! Your Dribs coming in clutch. Like, this thing is strong. Level 16. Yeah, I, I like this guy. If only you had some decent Pokemon. Well, you have a Zubat. Just become its friend and keep leveling it up and you'll get there. Crobat's amazing. This brat's tough, like really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. We're done for now. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. That must be the key we need. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must be for the Valley Windworks. It's of no use to me. You may as well have it. You obtained the work key. All right, so I'm a complete stranger, uh, and you're just gonna give me a kid a key. Sound sound smart. Thank you. You surely saved. Me. Yeah, that's true. We did save you. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet sweet honey. They sure were weird though. You saw how they were dressed. Yeah, those bull cuts with the neon blue ain't doing nothing for them. What were they saying didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you. Will you take this as my thanks? Hey, we got some honey. So, in this game, you're supposed to slather it on a tree, wait 24 hours, come back, and then there should be a Pokemon that's there, and your chances of getting like a... What are those little bee things? I know it evolves into a Vespa Queen if it's like a... A girl one evolves? Well, regardless, you can also get like a pincer or uh, a munchlax, which either one of those are really what I'd be wanting. So is there a tree or a Pokemon we can catch in here? There is a tree. Now, how do I do this? Slather the bark with honey. Yes, I will. So then we come back in 24 hours uh, and there should be a Pokemon there, essentially, which will be our catch for this area. Is there one we can do in here? Can we just do any tree? Or does it have to be like a golden tree? Uh, I'm assuming it's a golden tree, which I don't see one in here. You know what? Maybe we should make the rule we can... No, we're not going to use any legendaries. I was going to say maybe we should make the rule that we can use one legendary, but no. None. Nada. Unless you guys in the comment section say you want to, then we'll pick one and only one. 
But we already got our catch here, so we can't use this. Let's go ahead and open that door. It's locked from the inside. Would you like to use the works key? Yes. Alright, we're inside. Time to deal some damage to Team Galactic. What? No way. You have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I'm the loser in this after all. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. Those guys, man. Those guys. Alright, let's go for a battle. We're gonna switch somebody else to the front just because you drib. It's just, it's too strong. It's making these guys look sad. So we're gonna throw and burn it. Ah, uh, and... I don't know. We might use some Simba today, too, because I really like Simba. I ain't fooling around, kid. This is how a professional does it. No professional has that haircut, sir. Just gonna throw that out there now. No professional has that haircut. With that color. Casku. Alrighty. Well, it's a bug on bug battle, and I guarantee you, sir, my bug is a stronger bug. Uh, let's see. 50, 40. What's our stats? Are we physical or. We are. We're definitely physical, so we're gonna go with Fury Cutter. Cool thing about Fury Cutter is each time it, like, lands successfully, it gains more power. Um, so it hardened, which ups its defenses, but I'm assuming the next hit will e either do the same amount of damage, if not, kill. Yeah, see, the power up overcame his harden. And just like that, Burn Net shows why it's a strong one. Symbol leveled up to level 5, and the one leveled up to level 9. Let's go. I don't know when Simba evolves, but I feel like it should be soon. You messed up my job. Now I'm gonna get now I'm not gonna get a bonus. Well, catch more Pokemon, bro. That's all I gotta say. Oh, okay! Simba's evolving now! Sweet! Let's go! Alrighty, I'm excited for this. Second stage down, we just gotta make it to the third stage. I've never once seen in a Nuzlocke him make it to the third stage. If I'm wrong, point me to the Nuzlocke, but I haven't seen it. Alright, congratulations, your Simba evolved into a Luxio. Look at that. It's like a preteen, it's got a little mane going. It's looking strong, it's looking fierce. Alright, let's go look at that Luxio. Hopefully it kept its ability, because Intimidate is great. Still got some Intimidate, pretty good stat game there. And it's just looking cool, look at this thing. Let's go Luxio. You know what? Just because we gotta throw it to the front for a second. We'll switch it before we fight the commander, because I'm not going to let this thing go down. But, we gotta try this thing out, right? You gotta give it a go. You're challenged by Team Galactic Front. The Wormpole. Come on, give me something to try this thing with. Come on, Simba. We know you can do it, friend. Aw, oh, it's looking fierce. I love the design of this Pokemon. It's one of my favorite electric cats. I mean, if you... If you this one and what was the Gen 3 electric type? Um, man, I just played Emerald too. What was it? Electric. I like this one so much better than Electric. Glammeow. Oh, it's a little kitty. Okay, it's a cat battle. Let's go. Let's continue with Bite. We're a physical attacker, and Thundershock's gonna be... I mean, yeah, we get stab bonus. Ah, oh, you flinched me? So stab bonus is good, but our attack is way higher than our special attack. You know, the weird thing about Gen 3 was that they didn't have the uh, special attack 
and physical attack split, so it was just the type of the attack that meant what kind of damage it was doing. And dark moves were always special attacks, so things like bite and crunch, literally physical, like, I don't uh, they all relied on your special attack, which made a lot of dark Pokemon in that generation not good. You ended up just teaching them uh, ghost moves, because ghost, even though you would think ghost would be special, all the ghost moves were physical. I really don't like kids who also happen to be tough trainers. No, buddy. We're gonna throw in... Let's see, we're super close to the commander, so we're gonna throw in our frosty boy to get some chez off, you know? To get the cheese works in. And she looks goofy. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we Team Galactic will leave. Alright, well, pack your bags and get on your way because you're not staying. And even out of chibi form, you still look like a dork. And you're just going to send out a Zubu. Zubat. I mixed it with ours, which is named Zulu. Uh, this thing can't do any damage to me, so we're just gonna get a couple stealth rocks off. Uh, ooh, actually, they know absorb and we're water type. Okay, supersonic, that's fine. That is fine. I'm not worried about that. Oh, can we only do one stealth attack, or stealth rock? It's fine. Let's swap out. We're gonna go into Simba. Come on, take down this electric type, Simba. You got this. For some reason, I thought you could throw out more than one thing of stealth rocks. Must be wrong. I don't know. I'll have to look that up tomorrow. Let's go. One hit, and then the next Pokemon coming in is going to have damage taken out because of the stealth rocks prior to even battling. Draw screw to level 17. Looking strong. We're good out here. And there's a fur ugly. Ooh, it's the fat cat, huh? What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? Damaging them. Winning this battle. <sighs> this thing looks tanky. Uh, this thing sure does look tanky. We're gonna throw in frost uh, get some charms off you know I think that's pretty smart lower the same attack because I don't think the same gonna be a special attacker take out oh yeah get the flinch cheese nice okay it's gonna lower my attack too but don't you know that our frosty boy is charming we are a charming penguin it. You can't do nothing about it. Your attack partially fell. Let's get another one off. Lower it too, and then we're gonna start going. We're gonna start attacking this thing. I, so I know you can lower it six stages when it's like just normal. I don't know if partially counts for two or one or what. Uh, but Metal Claw the same. Okay, it's in Scratch. Ain't nothing doing. We got this. Ooh, and that ain't nothing doing. Yeah, let's just keep... Let's try Water Gun, see how much damage it does. If it doesn't do a lot, we're gonna keep doing Metal Claw to hopefully get that attack boost. I think Water Gun's just fine. We're gonna stick with Water Gun. This is the face off of the ages. Ooh, you are holding a berry. But we're still ahead on life. We're fine. Unless you know something crazy. Thief? Oh, 
That's nothing. That is nothing. Beef again. Yeah, now nah, Frosty Boy's got this. Ain't nothing to worry about when we got him. Let's go. Alright, ooh, and some real stat gains. Uh, Simba grew to level 16. Thorn grew to level 17. Burnett to level 16. And the one grew to level 11. The one learned recover. Ooh, some cheese on that guy. Alright. This can't be. I lost. You annoying brat. Y'all gotta learn some different words. I'm not just a brat. I'm also like a nuisance or something, you know? Oops, I messed that one up. That's alright, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Alright, what do you guys say? Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe or so, they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. But you're smart, it should make sense to you. Anyway, I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Oh, that's your little girl? Aw, uh, look at that reuniting little girls and dads. Papa! Yuck! Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Uh, not the kind of... Not the kind of reunion we were hoping for. Oh, sorry. Ha <laughs> ha They had me working non-stop. Thank you, trainer. Oh, thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. The balloon Pokemon? Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure out what that balloon Pokemon is. Uh... I really hope I don't catch in a route where the balloon Pokemon would be. Right. I think we're just gonna end up bypassing Route 205. Because... Like, that's the next route that would become available to us, so it makes sense for that would be the next route that the balloon Pokemon would be in. Um, and I don't know what's gonna happen with that, and I need to look it up prior. I don't want to miss a chance of us catching something decent, right? So, we're gonna bypass that one for now. And... I don't know that we can bypass that one for now. How about a quick battle before I leave for Eternal Forest? I am heading there too, friends. So yeah, let's get in a quick battle so I can show you what how to do it. Come on, Camper Jacob. A Ponyta! Alright, please tell me we still have our Frosty Boy up front. We do! Alrighty. Ain't nothing happening. You got a cool guy, but my guy's cooler. I'm gonna whip your tail at me? At my, at my penguin? Bro, don't you know we can dance? We're gonna dance on your grave with this what? I really thought that was gonna be a one hit. Really thought. But it's okay, there's nothing he can do. Pony does have some strong stomps, but he can't stop down Frost. It's just a fact. He's too good. And he grew to level 18, and you dribbed to level 17. And we might have to catch a Pokemon in this next patch of grass here. I am not positive of that. And he's just giving us advice on doing the tree. Ah. Uh, Oh, yep, we couldn't pass the grass. Uh, but we did get the... Weasel? Weasel? I don't know. Uh, and I will be right guide you. Or right back, you guys. And I am back. Sorry about that. So we just encountered a Weasel. Uh, I don't know what type this thing is. 
Well, I'm assuming it's a water type, and we're catching a lot of water Pokemon lately. Right? This is a water type, right? Let's see. Weasel. It's a sea otter, so I'm assuming it's a water type. This thing evolves into something cool, right? A Floatzel. Is Floatzel just water too? This is just water. Okay, we don't need this thing, but we're gonna catch it anyways. My phone just came unplugged. Uh, so, we're not gonna attack it because with it being a water type, and we're several levels a high several levels higher than it and a grass type we'll probably end up one shotting it so to play it safe we brought out our thorny boy for the cheese and we're just gonna throw the ball we're having pretty good luck with these catches honestly i don't know if it's because we're so higher level uh but the only thing that wasn't a one ball catch was It was... what was the name? Wow. I don't remember the name of our... Onyx. And it's the only Pokemon to have perished, and so I feel bad. Like I said, uh... Probably wouldn't be missed. Probably would be forgotten. So, sorry whatever our Onyx's name was. But this Buizel is a sea otter. Otter. Mm. We're gonna go with otter. Because I can't think of anything else right now. We're gonna send it to the box. We don't need another water type on our team. We got frost. Unfort wow. Ca the encounter rates are just really high in here. Okay. Another Shellos. Uh. Yeah, we're just gonna knock. Well, we don't have anything super effective. We might put Simba to the front of our party. Cause like, why not? So Simba, get in here, and then we're gonna switch you to the front. Got to keep checking back and forth and making sure everything is recorded. Cause sometimes that Elgato likes to stop recording or just like not get the sound. Um, and that's never fun. Alright, Thundershock this thing, and then come to the front of the party, friend. How is that not a one hit? Wow, we need a better electric move. We need... Well, what's a good physical electric move? Like, Thunder Fang, um... Bolt Tackle, but I think Bolt Tackle hurts us also, so we don't really want that one. Really wish it was one hit. But, get to the front, Simba. Ooh, not a hiker. That is the exact wrong person to be fighting when you have your Simba boy up front. Alright, Hiker Daniel, show me what you got. Yeah, dude. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Not good. Uh, sorry, Simba, but this is not where you belong, friend. We are gonna have to... Let's see, Frost or Thorn. Uh, seeing as I keep planning on getting rid of Thorny Boy, we're gonna go with Frosty. Especially since, you know, it's winter time, frost, it just makes sense. Even though I'm here in Texas, it makes sense. I mean, we did get snow, like, last year, which was really weird. We were without power for a week, even though it was just a little bit of snow. Let's go. You know, I'm gonna need to look up water steel weaknesses. Because I know fighting is going to be an issue with the steel type, but fire should be neutral. And I don't know what else is weak against, or strong against water and steel. 
mainly because I don't know steel types that well. Alright, we got Machop. And fighting type, exactly what I was talking about. We should throw in our Yidriv, but it's just a little Machop and we don't have steel type yet. One shot kill, let's go. What else you got? Come on, bring in a challenge. The one grew to level 12. Another Geodude. Alright. Well, let's try Metal Claw this time. Why not? Oh, that's why not. Okay, because it's not one hit. Luckily, it doesn't know Explosion yet, but seven levels lower, I don't know that an Explosion would knock us out. Let's we'll see if we can get the cheese, the, the stat gain on that. Nothing, come on. Would've been cool, but we're just gonna water gun down the next lane. A Bidoof. Uh, yeah, we'll just water gun it. There's nothing that Bidoof should know that will hurt us. Bidoofs can't learn the black person, can they? I don't know. That thing just has such soulless eyes, it, you never know. I mean, I've taught my Gyarados uh, Thunderbolt before, or Thunder, so y you never know what these Pokemon can learn. Alright, X Attack. Let's go down. Wait, are we still in the same route? Yeah, we should be. Alright, let's fight this person. That's gonna be a grass trainer, I'm pretty sure. So, you Drib, come to the front, please. And thank you. I love Pokemon that smell. I love Pokemon that smell sweet, like this one. Get a whiff of this. Uh, no thanks. I'm gonna cut that thing down with my birdie. My Yadrib. A Badoo? That's all you got? A little, a little thorn? Well, this is what would happen if we ever sent out a thorn against a Yadrib. It would be a one-shot. Too easy. Oh, I forgot about Poison Point. Come on. Why do I keep doing that to you, Drip? Every time. Literally, every time. Only person to have been poisoned, you Drip. And from the same way each time. Burnett grew to level 17. Did you understand what I meant? Didn't my Pokemon smell nice? Uh, no, because I got too close and I got poisoned. So it smelled bad. It smelled terrible. Uh, luckily we still got some antidotes. Alright, let's try and remember that for the future, huh? Let's see, we could go on the grass, but I want to fight... You know what? We'll go on the grass, fight this little person, what kind of Pokemon live around here, I wonder? It's a good question. I've only seen two so far. And I bet you have both of them. Machines? Nope. Not what I expected. Okay. Who do we throw in? We don't have a ground type. We don't have a steel type. That, you know what? Electric against steel. Hmm. But well, we don't have steel type yet. Uh, throw in our bug. Yeah, let's 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 throw in our bug. Come on, burn it. Come out and burn this thing. This baby Simba. Bite, bite. That's nothing. All right. Uh, Gary cut this thing down to size. Show it your theory. Angry. This is one angry bug, I swear. It's because of how mean I was in it, to it the first episode, or like the first part of that episode, because then at the end of it, I love this thing. Jinx is down, bring in your second one to be cut down this size, a Pachirisu. Still don't know anything about this guy. Uh, but, Fury Cutter now hit twice in a row, so that's gonna be a Yep. Absolutely. 
All right. Before we go up, we're gonna see if there's anything else down here. I'm shocked, how did I lose? Shocked, because both of her Pokemon are electric, that's funny. And Burnet is just crushing it. I kinda wanna move it to the front, uh, but... You know what, each one of these guys could use a level, so... Oh, an item, a Pokeball. Nice. I don't need a Pokeball. Give me like a magnet or something, that'd be cool. Power up that Thundershock, that's way underpowered. Alright, come on little camper guy. It's a long way between Floroma Town and Eterna City, so let's battle. I'm assuming it's on the other side of this bridge, right? Not a long way. Just like it wasn't a journey from the first town to Senjin Town. Like our mom tried to say, ooh, a Geodude? I did not expect you to have a Geodude. This is not a good matchup for me. But the Intimidate is fine, and then we're just going to throw in our Water Guy. Level 14. Just wondering if it has Self-Destruct, because if it has Self-Destruct, I ain't going to be sitting pretty after this if it has Self-Destruct. on, use. Defense girl, fine. That's fine. We're gonna outspeed it. We're gonna use our water gun. It's gonna be toast. It's gonna be one soggy rock. It's done for. Let's go. Play my hand with that. I'm really afraid one of these times I'm gonna need to switch in. And it's just gonna self-destruct whatever I throw in. But, we got a lot of levels there. Frost grew to level 19. Frost wants to learn the move Bubble Beam? Heck? Yes, that's not even a question. Bubble Beam is a level, or a 65 power, 100% accuracy special move. Water Gun is just 40, so yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna do that. One, two, and ta-da. I think he used to say poof, right? Or did I always just say poof in my head? I almost said poof there. You drib grew to level 18. Yudrib wants to learn the move Endeavor. Okay, I need to read this move. Uh, the attack move, this attack move cuts down the target's HP equal to the user's HP. <sighs> you know, we're just gonna get rid of the tackle. Uh, if we set up with double team, right, and our health is low, Endeavor could be cheesy. Like, that could be a good combo there, so we're gonna do that. Is Thorn gonna learn a move too? Is everyone just gonna learn a move? That'd be cool. I wouldn't complain. Uh, and he did not. And then the one grew to level 13. You defeated Camper Zachary. Shout out to Zach, my best friend's little son who watches my videos. Appreciate you, man. Wah 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 wah. I'm out of Pokemon that can battle. Yep. Go back to that Pokemon Center. Ooh, another camper. Okay, so we don't want our birdie up front. We're gonna throw in our Frosty Boy with his brand new Bubble Beam. Let's go. Yeah, don't look away. I wanna battle you now. What do you got? What do you got? An Onyx? Ooh. Onyx wasn't named Terra, was it? There was Terra, and then there was... Man! I feel bad. I feel bad for not remembering. But Bubble Beam this thing! Let's see this animation. Oh yeah. That's pretty. Sturdy. Definitely sturdy. They did such good work for us, uh, and almost didn't die. I am upset I don't remember its name. Somebody in the comment section, please remind me. I just got done editing that video too. Like, so I wanted to get two videos out last weekend. By the time this video comes out, it'll be last weekend, even though these videos are recorded a day apart. Uh, but 
that Pokemon video took... Let's see, I started exporting it at 4 o'clock on Friday, and it finished at 9 o'clock on Saturday. So, yeah, it took a little while. Having lost this way, having lost his way, the trainer lost the battle too. It took like 29 hours or something, it was ridiculous. Uh, so that's delaying these videos a little bit. Um, because I really wanted to do two a weekend, but I just don't know how that's gonna work out right now. Hey, I'm not trained to hold back. Oh, a fighting type, I definitely should have thrown in my Yadrib. Would have been perfect for this. That's all right. Throws out with top chop. Let's drown it with our bubble beam. Come on, get some soap in the same eyes. Let's go. We're too strong for it. We're too fast for it. We got this. What? Low kick. Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. I was a little nervous because we do look like a kind of a hefty penguin and low kick does more damage based upon your weight, but we're fine. We might throw our guy a potion before the next battle. But yeah, we're good. Alright, Kelsey, you're gone. I, I concede you're in a different class. Yes, yes we are. Because we come to a battle with six Pokemon while you come into one. And we're doing a Nuzlocke and you just lost yours. So, goodbye. Three potions. Yeah, that should be almost full. I kind of want to throw Burn It to the front of the party again. I really like this dude. I think it's just his dorky little mustache that just kills me. What's this house? What's down here? Ooh, another item. Okay. Super potion. Nice. So we're getting into that range, huh? It's decent. It's decent. You think you'll get through Eternal City by yourself? Forced by yourself? You seem to be tired. Rest a while. Sure! Didn't need that potion, apparently. You and your Pokemon look completely refreshed. I am. I'm feeling good. Let's go. Oh, I don't know. Should I play a little? Sure. Challenged by Picnicker Katrina? Karina. A pit club? Alrighty. Come on, burn it. And this this Piplup ain't doing nothing to ya. Just just absorb this thing down. Let's go. Wow, that did not do as much as I thought it was gonna do. Oh, but neither did that. Okay. Just fear it got the same. You're not a special attacker. You you're a ferocious little guy. Look at that damn. Yep. Even though it's not super effective, like our special attack is just trash. But it does have a chance to miss. But it's fine. It's fine. We got this. No problemo. Let's go, burn it. You could just wipe out everyone, couldn't you? Yeah. Level 18 for burn it and level 18 for Simba. And we want to learn the move scene. Ooh. Could be the replacement cheese we need. 55 accuracy though. Accuracy's garbage. But then we could take Thorn off the team. So we're gonna learn it. I think that's the right move. Simba grew to level 18. Spark. I think that's a physical electric move, so that's gonna be fan. Fantastic. Let's go. Please tell me it is. Yes. Okay. Physical electric attack. 65 damage. Already better than Thundershot. Get rid of Thundershot. Get out of here. Simba just got such a big increase with that. That's awesome. He should be able to one-shot those Pokemon that he wasn't able to before. Oh, boo. How insulting. Just racking them to dough. Alright, come on, please tell me this is a new route. It's 
205. Okay, we're about to enter a forest. What's up here, though? Oh, this is the forest? Fuck. Maybe you can enter it from two things, but I don't have cut, so I can't go that way. Were we supposed to know cut by now? Do you give me cut? Many pillies and type Pokemon that make a turn of forest their home, but I do not buy any antidotes. What should I do? Do I press on or go back? You press on, buddy! You press on. Alright. We're gonna throw our poison type to the front, though. A little grass poison. Ooh. Okay. Hello, my name's... My name's Cheryl. And you are? Okay, so your name is Scooter. Yes, ma'am, that is my name. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Scooter, may I ask you for a big favor? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there'll be safety in numbers. Please, may I go with you? You decided to go with Cheryl. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health? Alrighty, Cheryl, thank you. So you're like the healing type, huh? What is this? A double battle? Luckily, it's two badoos, right? Ch Chansey? Alright, Cheryl. That's kind of cool. Uh, we're just gonna run, though, because BC Claus says we ain't gotta catch any of those. I really want to get a new buddy for the team. Come on. Oh, no. Wormples? Mm. I don't want a wormhole. Oh, so we have to knock out one Pokemon first. Oh, no. <laughs> this, hmm. So we gotta make sure that the Badoo dies before the Wormple dies, but honestly, they could both die. Depending on what this Chansey does. But I don't really care, because I don't really care about Wumple, right? Sweet kiss. Oh, confusion. Oh, that's a good move. So you're gonna be my cheeser. The so Badoo is confused, and you stuns her on the Chansey. That's fine. We don't care about that. I really hope there's not, like... Pincer and Heracross or something real cool in this grass. Because the fact that I'm getting a Wormhole, even at level 10, even though it's about to evolve, like, it's still a Wormhole. Alright. Let's try and catch this thing. Come on, Chansey, don't knock it out before I get a chance. But if you do, I'm not mad. Just a Wormhole. What should we name it? Poison Sting! Wormful! Oh! Thank you, Chansey! This, why can't you do that to yourself? Wormful's kind of being a jerk, though. Just throwing that out there. Still gonna add it to the team, but kind of being a jerk. Oh, boy. Wormful was hot. We're going to add this thing to the team. And we're going to call it a... We're going to call it a Weedrill. After a Weedle and a Beedrill. Uh, and we're going to just... I mean, it's so close to an evolution, might as well see which one we're gonna get, right? Come to the team. Alright, let's look at this Weedrill, huh? Weedrill, Sassy Nature, Shield Dust Ability, this Pokemon's dust blocks the additional effects of attacks taken. It's not bad. Up Special Defense, Lower Speed. Uh, tackle, String Shot, and Poison Sting. That is our Weedrill. We are gonna swap ya with our Yadrib, because Yadrib seems like he's just gonna dominate this area. Uh, what is else in, in this grass? Okay, so basically the same stuff. 
Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to find a really cool bug in here. But, I mean, we can't catch it anyways because of Nuzlocke's. Okay, wing attack this thing. Come on, get us a level. Let's, let's evolve the RP drill. Nope, not even close yet. Damn. Life do. Is it not known attack and move? But look at the health. Jeez. Chansey's at fantastic health. I wish I had like that follow me or something, whatever that makes them, all the enemy Pokemon want to attack it. Hey, hun. Scared me, I had jumped for a sec. Sorry. You're good. What's up, what's up? Nothing, I just want to play with your Oh. Nice. I thought you were already asleep. I was. Oh. Alright, you want to get in the camera and say hi? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Alrighty. I'm literally No, you don't. Don't say that. You're not going to be sniffling? Nope. Hopefully I don't have that new, um, thing of color, whatever it's called. I don't There's know. New... I, I heard. The rock is covered in moss. It look, feels pleasantly cool. I heard I didn't catch, like, what the name of it was. Uh, so I think we're gonna have to go this way. And we got a double battle. Let's go. Chansey, can you put... Can you do some work this time? I don't think Chansey has an attacking move, so I don't think it can do anything, but it would be nice if it could. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. Uh, so we're gonna focus on the electric Pokemon, I think. I think it's electric. I don't know. I've never looked that thing up, but it looks electric. So. Yeah, not very effective. Uh, let's just quick attack it. I think that'll be fine. Nope, wasn't fine. Nope. Okay, thank goodness it attacked that one. Oh, I yeah, that was a great photo. And we got poison again! What is with these... Come on, life do. Or whatever that thing was called. Uh, we're swapping out. We we don't want to get sparked. Ah. Uh, Jeez. We don't have anything that's necessarily fantastic here. But we do have this guy. Where are you going? I'm only going to be recording for a little bit while longer. I think I'm going to make it to the next town and call it there because... I don't know, 20 minutes or something? Okay, I don't know how long it will take, but... Bye. Yeah, see, that was the right move because if he hurt our, your drib with that, it would have been kind of bad. Oh, so you do know an attacking move. That's so nice! Alright, Simba. You are the man of the hour. Bite down that Pichirisu. It tried to kill you, you drib. Of course it did. Let's go. Dang it. I really want to use... Don't poison me again. I really want to use Spark, but none of these people are weak to it. I'm not going to use it on electric type. Alright. Pichirisu is gone. Does she have another Pokemon? Wow, that's a good stat game. Alright, your Drib grew to level 19 and Weedrill grew to level 11. Chance to use Sweet Kiss. Nothing happening. Come on, use your disarming voice again. Seemed like a good move. Spark this thing. Woo! Yeah, buddy. 
Alrighty, this is already going so much better now that we have that move. Loving it. A beautifly. Okay. That's a, a bug flying, I think? It's either bug flying... Nah, I think it's just bug flying. It's not bug poison, that's the other one. Look at that. One hits, one hits, one hits. And more levels. Simagru to level 19. Already putting in work. We drill to level 12. And Frost to level 20. Let's go. Life do. Let's heal us up. Not mad about that. Oh, is it just yourself? I don't know that. Yeah, I took some damage. Okay. Silcoon. Well, let's see if we can get another one shot, huh? We're doing great. We're gonna have an evolution after this part. Alright, we beat them. Oh, you! It bugs me when people ignore the awesome coolness of bug Pokemon. You should have had your partner bring in more than one Pokemon. What? Weedrill's evolving? What's it going to be? Drumroll, please! I don't know how to tell which one it becomes, right? Uh, I think Silken, Beautifly, and... Cascoon, I think is the... Cascoon's the other one. And it learned Harden, yay! Didn't see that coming. Uh, what is the other one? Beautifly and... It's late. That's... It's late. Another double battle, let's go. Come on. I see it, I see it. You're going down in defeat. Okay, must be psychic types. Might be a good matchup for Simba again. Okay, that animation's cool. I like that. Two Abras. The question is, will they only know Teleport? The thing about Abras is they're not physically tanky, so your Drib's gonna be fine in here. Like, we don't even need to throw in another Pokemon. Like, yeah, they can hit good with their special attacks, but I don't even know if they'll have one. The one grew to level 15, already gaining. And learn the move Water Pulse, let's go! That's a decent move. It's a 60... I guess we're kind of a special attacker, it seems about even. So yeah, goodbye Water Gun. I think our nature just lowers special attack, right? I don't remember. Alright, Energy Ball. Uh, that's grass, right? Yeah, we should be fine with that. Chance of getting off a little bit of damage. But you drib, show her how it's done. See, see, Chancey? That's called a one shot. That's called being a cannon. And they don't have anything to throw out. So, Elijah, Lindsay, get out of here move on to the next one. Got some big grass. I think there's an item over here. A great ball. Nice! Alright, little little bug catcher. Oh, two of them. I didn't even notice the second one. Alright, what do you got? Two Wurmples? Oh, a Burmy and a Wurmple. I don't know what a burning is. But I think it wants to be like my Burnett. I don't know really what the damage is going to be on this thing. Is it just a bug? Is it a bug something else? I, I mean, regardless. One shot. Burmy's out. I feel like it's Bug Rock or something, like, I just looked it up the other day. 
Or I might have heard about it on like a chill and play or a quick GG video, but I don't remember. Two guys that I watch all the time. Those guys love their videos. Absolutely. And they're doing a, a random randomizer souling a brilliant diamond. And uh yeah, I love their soul rings. I, I watched the last one completely through. I'm watching this one completely through, like, 110%. We drilled through to level 13. That's going to be another evolution there. Nice. Low-key, if you ever hear me say decent a lot in a, a video, it's because I just got done watching their video. It, it, it's contagious. String shot hits bow? Huh. It's kind of cool to see, honestly. The animations in this game are pretty decent. I think it's funny how you go from like this chibi little... Oop, can't attack myself. This chibi little thing to like actually looking like a teenager or something when you're in battles. Alright, keep one-shotting. This is awesome. Yadriv is a one-shot king over here. And Chansey just keeps trying to attack nothing. Dust stops. That one. It's either bug poison or bug. I think that one's bug poison. And he knows confusion. Dang, that ain't nothing. Wing attack it, get it out of here. I think that's the one that our wormhole or our reed drill is gonna evolve into. Good stackings. Uh, or not stackings, but uh. XP gains. Oh, Kaskin? That's the one we got, right? Kaskin? I believe so. So if they have... What was that last Pokemon called? Since they have that one, that should be the one we get. Alright, leveled up again. Level 14. We really do look like a bug catcher out here having a level 14 uh, Kaskin not evolved all the way. Because if you don't know, they evolve at level 10. Alright, what? Weedrill's evolving? Again? So soon? I wasn't ready for this yet. Ah, hurry up. Alright, so we got a Dust Ox. I remember now seeing it. And did you learn Confusion? Nope, you must be too high. You want to learn Gust though, that, that's good. A little, little flying move, get rid of tackle. Come on, please learn confusion. Might be too late. I hope it's not too late, I hope it learns it soon or something. Confusion would be kind of nice for some types of Pokemon. Another double battle there. Yeah, let's just do that. We're gonna... Your drip's just carrying us right now. Highest level, almost? Uh, these are gonna be psychic types, so we might as well throw in this guy to gain a level. EXP share makes it so everyone gets uh, XP in a battle, but it seems like the person that's in the front of your party gets more XP, so it's good to rotate them. I think there's other factors as well, but that's one factor that I've seen. Alright, so we got a, a Medicham. That's Medicham, right? Meditite. Medicham must be the, the evolution of. Okay, so we're gonna take out the Psyduck with our Sparky Boy. And we're gonna go for that Meditite. Knock it out. Get out of the forest. We grew to level 20, and the one grew to level 16. Low kick, ooh, that should be, yeah, that's pretty effective on that dude. Alright, we're gonna bite you down to size, Metatite. Little diaper having little koala bear looking thing. Not koala, but whatever bug that, or not bear thing that is. Looks like a teddy bear in a diaper. One more bite should do it. 
Should have tried Spark. Spark seems to be doing really good. I mean, it's a strong move, it's stab, or a physical attacker. You victory, there's something strange about it. Huh? Oh, be one with me, my Metatite. Not judging. I think we should be almost to the end of the forest, right? Ooh, an item. Nice. Jar of honey. We really need to learn cut soon. Alright, end of the forest. Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved we finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Scooter. Hey. It's my pleasure. I'm just a gentleman. It's what I do. Alright, Route 205 still? Come on, give me a new route. Where do we come from? Here? What's down here? Okay, it's still the forest, but I'm assuming we need cut to get there. Yep. Nope. Got three minutes left. Gotta bypass these guys. Alright! So we made it to the town. We got three minutes left of recording. So we're gonna end it there, you guys. That's the end of day three. No deaths today, thank goodness. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll try and make these videos more often. Uh, and with that, guys, we'll catch you in the next one.